Hi there, this uh, video is about how to crossfade layers in FMOD Studio. Um, I'm a beginner at this and this is for my own um, benefit, but also hopefully if you're a bit of a beginner at FMOD and want to do this basic thing, it'll help you as well. Um, I've got three, I've got a, a, a dynamic piece of three layers basically that need to stack on top of each other to increase in intensity. Um, and I want to be able to control those and gradually crossfade in, in and out of them. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that with, with this now. So I'm in FMOD here. I'm going to start a new project. I'm then going to right click in the event here and make a new event. It doesn't matter is my understanding whether it's 3D or 2D events. It's called a new event. This is a combat, combat crossfade, I'm going to call it. Um, okay. So this is this is what FMOD looks like, uh, very much like a DAW. We've got audio here, we've got a master channel here, and we've got effects down here. Um, <clears throat> next thing is that we need to get the four tracks in. Uh, so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Import Assets, and I've got them here, and here they are. Look, these, so these are all loops. I've got a static loop, a combat loop, a suspense loop, and an extreme combat loop. Let's open those up. Okay. Now, just so that we know what we're doing, the static loop is the quietest. It's very, well, it's literally static. It sits there and it's just sort of in the background. Um, the suspense loop goes on top of that. So the two play at the same time and it adds a bit of suspense and it can continue looping around. Combat goes on top, so you would have three layers and extreme combat on, on top of that. So let's get these in. Um, it's simply a case of just dragging them in. So I'm going to start with static like that. Uh, let's just do one at a, I'll do one at a time and also just get them in the right position in a minute. Uh, let's right click and add another audio track and put, what was that? That was static. So we want suspense in next. Right click, add audio track. Now we want combat. I might change the order of these in a minute and right click again here add audio track extreme combat okay i should be able to uh, swap those around with any luck maybe not let's see if we can no can't do it you can put the two together okay well we're gonna have to have it this way around then i think static oh, we have done static what have we got we want static down at the bottom here so we can do that we can move them static suspense combat extreme combat at the top okay that's that. Let's get rid of those. Now these will loop, as I said, and I can see, I can scoot around like this. I can see that these are all the right, the right sort of length and they're also sort of clicking into position, which is quite good. I'm going to just to be on the safe side though, right click here and add a tempo marker. I know that this is 140 beats per minute. I'm just going to put that in just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that these do click together and play together. Let's just try that actually. We need to get them to loop as well at the moment. I don't think it'll loop. Let's just solo the, uh, let's solo this one. I've forgotten which ones they are. Let's label them might help. This one's static. Static. This one is suspense. This will help in a minute as well because I won't be able to see the tracks. This one's combat. This one is extreme combat extreme combat okay so let's just have um let's have oh, i don't know let's have static and suspense together we can't do that all right then let's have static now at the moment this won't loop no it stops okay so we need to get it to loop by selecting it right clicking and new loop region. Okay, so we can see that this is the loop region up here now. I think this should loop now. Yes, that's gone back to the beginning. Okay, so let's just hear what these sound like together just to make sure they sort of work. I'm going to mute. Maybe I can mute them. There we go. So that's the static. This is adding the suspense to it. Okay, so 
that's how they fit together. Now, what we want to be able to do is to is to fade in and out rather than switching them on and off like that. Um, so we need to create a parameter. Um, so create add parameter, and we're going to call this intensity. So basically, this is going to create a little number. So numbers up here that I can just drag. Oops, so I can just click. Sorry, just slide up and down. Um, now this would be controlled by the game. So we've got from naught to one, or it's probably easier to think of it as being naught to a hundred. It breaks it up a little bit more. Um, it's in it's in fractions. I'm rubbish at decimals. It's decimals, not fractions. Um, so forget this. It's gone up to forty six now. We've got a hundred a hundred little little divisions, and basically the game's going to control this. So. Um, when the player, for example, is is static, literally, there's nothing happening. The intensity, the game will be telling or connecting to FMOD and saying zero. Uh, when when there's a, a a foe coming or something's about to happen and in the suspense needs to come up, the game will automatically ramp up the intensity number, and it will bring in the suspense layer here. As combat starts again, the number will ramp up here, and it will it will add the combat layer and so on, and then obviously it can go down again. But this is essentially going to be controlled by the game when FMOD is hooked up to Unity or uh, any other game engine that you want to use. So let's have a look at how we do that. Now you'll see, having made the parameter here, that it's created another tab here called Intensity, which is why we needed these naming. Um, and we need to create the crossfades in here. So let's start off with static. The static is going to play all the time. Let's right click on here, add automation. This is the automation to the static track down here. This is where this is its default position where it was. So I'm going to leave it on here because this plays all the way through the whole track. Um, sorry, I mean all the way through whether the intensity is at zero or right the way up to one. It's going to play, it's going to play all the time. Suspense then. Let's divide our um, our 100 into into four. It's going to come in about a quarter of the way through. So when the, when it's ramped up to say 0 0.25, we need suspense to be in. So let's right click on here, add the automation for that. This is suspense. So here it is at 0 0.25, which is here. That's going to be right up. But prior to that, woo! Prior to that, let's make it. Thing there, it's going to be all the way down. Um, I'm going to just make that a little bit longer and a bit more gradual, and also make it in a curve like that tends to work quite well. So, what happens now is that if the intensity number is on zero or below this point here, zero, 0 0.15, we just get the static track playing. The this vol this one's volume is right the way down. As soon as this goes up or starts going up here. This gradually fades in as well, so that by the time we get to 0 0.25 here, intensity level, we've got the two tracks playing at the same time. Let's just have a listen to that to make sure that that works. So let's mute extreme and mute combat as well. Let's go back down to here. So this is on zero, and we've just got static. Ramping up the intensity. Okay, we can do the same with the other tracks as well. So the combat track, we want to come in about halfway, so at 50 here. So let's unmute it. Let's right click on it. Add automation. Uh, so here we want it at full volume. It's going to gradually come in from zero and give it sort of this amount of time and up. Now I think. I'm not massively experienced with this, but my sense is that um, to perfect this, these these need to be possibly different lengths. They need to be different curves, and you just need to play around with the actual shape and you know sort of point where these comes in to make it exactly how you want it. Let's try this though as it is now. Extreme is still muted. Intensity is on zero at the moment, so it's static. See your intensity going up now to adding suspense. And if we ramp it up again, we should get the combat coming in now. And 
that's add our extreme combat in now. So extreme combat, let's unmute it, right click, add automation. It's going to come in at 0.75. Take it down here. Do the same curve. Okay, here we go. So this is everything. Okay, and that's how to do basic layering in FMOD. Okay, hope that was helpful. Um, uh, it certainly will have reminded me how to do it. I hope it's taught you how to do it a little bit as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, leave me a comment if I've done anything wrong or you can add anything to what's in the video here because as I say, this is very much my first sort of foray into this. If you have some helpful comments on uh, how to do this better, then let me know below. Thanks ever so much. Bye.